Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm the Marketing Manager here at Ashridge House and I'm delighted to give you a preview of some of our meeting spaces. So follow me to take a look. So this is the reception at Ashridge House. Delegates walk through the front door, check in at reception, then come through to the Grand Hall. The Grand Hall is a gorgeous space with an amazing staircase. You might recognize this from Harry Potter. And there's the impressive ceiling. And all the statues from the different eras of Ashridge House, from when it was a monastery, Edward, King Henry VIII's son. And then as delegates walk through, the first thing we invite them to do is walk through through the ante room into our Wyatt Lounge. So this is our Wyatt Lounge and it's a really lovely space with gorgeous soft seating. And this is a communal area where delegates can help themselves to a tea or coffee. So we're in the Grand Hall at Ashridge House. It's a beautiful space. And up on the first floor, there are a series of meeting spaces. Now, they would have been former bedrooms of the house, but they've all been converted to really nice meeting rooms. This one is Prince Edward. So all the rooms are named after former guests. So this one is named after King Henry VIII's son. Prince Edward, who stayed at Ashridge as a child. And all of our rooms have got gorgeous views out to the gardens. You can see the beautiful private gardens. We've got 190 acres of gorgeous private gardens. So then when delegates finish their meeting, they can do a walk and talk outside, or perhaps have a tea and building break outside. So this is just one of our meeting spaces up here. And we've got three spaces like this in a row. And the rooms all around are converted in the same manner. And here we are again in the hall and you can see the amazing ceiling. We're now in the old library, another gorgeous space for a meeting. So it is the original library of the house and all of the bookshelves are original. So they're ebony and brass. So we can add a plasma or two in here lovely views out to the Italian gardens and it's set up for a private dinner in there at the moment but here we are in this space set up as a horseshoe and it works really well and there's even a secret door in this space in the bookshelves so you can actually get back out to the grand hall through the bookshelf and then back into the Grand Hall. If you're interested in a private dinner, then the Lady Marin Alford room could work really well. It's a lovely opulent space. It's got this amazing ceiling. It's this gorgeous fresco. So it's very impressive. And it's got a lot of marble detailing. So there's marble pillars and there's marble fireplaces in the in this lovely room so it works really well for an awards dinner or for a special private dinner and we can accommodate 100 in this space. If you have a small meeting you need to organise then the sitting room could work really well. It's got lovely views out to the gardens and it also has a board table set up for eight which works really well, and lovely wood panelling in the room as well. So 
a really nice solution for a small meeting. This is our Windsor room and it's currently set up for a board meeting of 14. Also works really well for a private dinner. So we can dress this room with white linen on the table and it works really well for a special dinner. It's got gorgeous views out to the Italian gardens. And also the Italian gardens terrace as well. This is Hoskins, it's another communal area. And it's got this lovely soft seating by the fireplace. This really lovely ornate plaster work and a little communal table there for anyone that wants to sit up and catch up on their emails. So lots of communal spaces at Ashridge and again gorgeous views out to the front of the house from this space. So this area here is the old stable yard of the house. And this area has been converted to meeting spaces. So these were the old stables of the house, but they're now being converted to meeting spaces. And they're really nice and contemporary. And they have plasmas and board tables in all the spaces. So a really nice area for small meetings and also the entrance to our Fairhaven suite as well. So this is Fairhaven Open. It's our largest space and it can accommodate 250 people theatre style or 130 in a cabaret setup. And you can present from either side. So you can split it into two spaces, into Lord and Lady Fairhaven We've got a soundproof wall that can split spaces, but otherwise it can be open and used for a large conference. And the great thing about this space is that it's completely self-contained. It's got its own cafe, seven syndicate rooms, its own loos, but it's completely private as well. So if we just pop outside, we'll be able to show you the little cafe that comes with it. So lose an entrance down that way and here it is, the cafe. And we'll set up tea and coffee and biscuits and fruit if you wish as well. And here's a lovely little garden that comes with it as well. So completely private and self-contained. One of the advantages of Ashridge House is the beautiful private gardens. We have 190 acres of beautiful grounds and gardens for you to explore. Perfect for team building or a walk and talk. I do hope you've enjoyed your tour. If you have any questions, please do get in contact as we'd love to welcome you to Ashridge House.